UFC Fight Night Yarn versus the Vishwali has just taken place. I'm going to go from the first fight all the way up to the main event. Given thoughts and reactions to it, I went seven and six on the card, meaning seven, I had seven wrong, six right is what it is. Um, I'm not going to talk much about the main event when um, it gets to it, because I'll make a separate video on that, because I have a lot of strong opinions about that. But uh, yeah, we'll start with the first fight on the card. If you're new, please like, subscribe, and keep it real MMA. And uh, yeah, so first fight on the card, Carlson Harris versus Jared Gooden. I went with Carlson Harris winning by decision. He won by decision. Pretty good performance, I guess. It was just very grappling heavy. Um, realized he's the better grappler, so he was able to control Jargon. Landed some decent shots on the feet and uh, did what he needed to do. So, well done to Carlston Harris. Uh, I'm going to zip through this pretty quick because I'm very pissed off. But, uh, yeah, I'll try, I'll try and calm down a bit, but it's just, uh, you know, it's one of those. But, yeah. Uh, next fight on the card, Tyson Nam versus Bruno Silva. I went with Bruno Silva by TKO, uh, but he got it done by submission. Obviously, he got he dropped Tyson Nam with the front kick. Um, it was a beautiful shot by uh, Bruno Silva. Should be ranked in the flyweight division now. He's a short little midget, but he's very technical, and uh, that wins you fights in flyweight, I guess, especially when you're quicker than your opponent and more technical. Like I said, it just it doesn't matter if you're a midget or not. I guess it gives you the win. But no, he looks very good, man. He looks good. Um, looks very, uh, looks very gifted. Uh, good all around. He's just a true martial artist, man. And Tyson Nam is the uh, was a bit too patient and just kept getting caught. So eventually got dropped with a front kick and then uh, got put in the rear naked choke and uh, yeah, that's all she wrote. Next fight on the card, Ariana Lipsky versus JJ Aldridge. I did go with JJ Aldridge, but uh, Ariana Lipsky got it done uh, by unanimous decision. She looked very good, man. Um, you know, obviously women are terrible at MMA. They can't do it. Uh, but, you know, but uh, Ariana Lipsky was slightly less trash than JJ Aldridge. JJ Aldridge looked like complete garbage. Um, the reason I picked her was because all of her losses aged very well. Um, and I thought that she'd beat the girl that doesn't even move her head at all <laughs> you know just you know so, sorry for having common sense but um is what it is uh you know the sport makes no sense it's the worst sport in the world so yeah um yeah just just uh one of those things um but yeah aria lipsky looked very good she looked very technical looked very fast uh it doesn't move her fucking head though same with jj aldridge don't move their fucking head but yeah you know it's just one of those but uh yeah good job by ariana lipsky i guess and uh yeah women's flyweight is fucking terrible next fight on the card victor henry versus tony gravely um victor henry gets it done by split decision now i did pick victor henry i thought gravely won that fight um i actually know how to score fights here unlike most of you um Yo, I, I, I'm sorry with the attitude, guys. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm just pissed off about the main event. <laughs> I fucking broke my fucking sunglasses on accident when I was watching the fight. Uh, but yeah. Um, I thought Tony Gravely won that fight. I thought he won the third round. First, uh, first and third round. I thought he won it. And I don't think the second round was a Terry for Victor Henry, of course. So... I thought Victor Henry should have lost 29 28, but hey, I'll take the robbery decision because we take those. I always have to take the L if a, if a fighter that I pick got robbed, so I'll happily take the dub if a fighter that I picked got the robbery win in their favor. So, yeah. Next fight on the card uh, Cedricus Dumas versus Josh Fremd. I did go with Dumas, dumbass, but um, 21 Savage clearly can't fucking grapple. Um, he has no jujitsu whatsoever and got submitted in the second round uh, the same way Jones submitted uh, Cyril Garn with the guillotine against the cage. Fair play to Josh Friend, I guess. Um, he looked okay. Um, the problem is, is uh, men's middleweight is basically the equivalent of... It's basically the equivalent of women's flyweight, bantamweight and uh, featherweight. So, you know, middleweight's a fucking trash. But, I mean, he looked okay. Um, in middleweight, if you can grapple, you're probably going to be in the top five very soon. Just look at Drickus Duplessis. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, 
is what it is. So yeah, well done, Josh Fremd on beating 21 Savage. I I mean, dumbass. Next fight on the card, Rafael Asunso versus Davy Grant. Um, I picked Davy Grant by KO, but he wins by third round submission. Um, right. Here's a quick thought for you dumbasses, right? That thought that Rafael Asenso should have, should have been given the position back. What you've got to understand is, right, the ref made his boundaries very clear. He said he's not going to put him back in the position because he took a point away. The ref has every right to do that. If the ref feels like, because he took a point, though, if he or she took a, you know, she, you got to be inclusive, if she took a point away from him, or he took a point away from him, actually, he, yeah, fucker, he, if he takes a point from you, if he doesn't want to return you to the same position, he doesn't have to. And that's what, I think it was Keith Peterson was the ref. That's what he decided. Now, Rafael Sanzo was clearly winning the fight. He was winning all three rounds. But, um, well, actually, before he got dropped, he was he was losing the third round, sorry. But, um, yeah, like, what you got to understand is, it's like, if the ref doesn't want to return him to position, because he took a point, he doesn't have to. I saw that's a legit win for Davy Grant. Obviously got the reverse triangle, very very beautiful submission. He even surprised himself. Um, dropped the sun. So worst time thumbs up of all time. Trying to look a bit cool and then just gets dropped and <laughs> and then submitted. Put out cold with the submission. But um, Davy Grant man, he's always dangerous man. Living up to his name, I guess. But um, Rafael Sunso retires. Um, he's had a great career, man. He's great. He's beaten some great guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Like beat Aljamain, who's the current champ. So yeah. Fair play to him. But yeah, David Grant uh, did very well. But yeah, this is what you guys need to understand. If he doesn't want to return him to the position, he doesn't have to if he take it a point. If he didn't take a point, then yes, I would understand. But he did take a point, so he didn't have to. So yeah, good win by David Grant, even though he looked terrible. So yeah, uh, last fight of the prelims, Carl Williams versus Lucas Brisky. I went with Lucas Brisky by decision, but uh, he loses by unanimous decision to Carl Williams. Um... Got out, out damaged and out wrestled. I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, if Carl Williams looked very good, man. A uh, heavyweight, another example of if you have grappling, you're gonna make it to the top ten, top five, probably. So, Carl Williams is probably gonna get in the rankings at some point. He looked very good. Uh, his cardio is a bit uh, suspect, but other than that, he looked very good. Lucas Brisky looks fucking trash, even though he's clearly on the sauce and he's still trash. So, yeah, interesting thought process by Lucas Brisky to not try to break away when he has the opportunity as well. But, uh, yeah, good job by Carl Williams, man. He looked very good. Um, just needs to work on his cardio. Is He has a lot more power than I thought he would have. So, fair play to him. Looked very good. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing what he can do next. So, you guys, you can tell I calmed down a bit now. So, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. But, yeah. So yeah, Carl Williams gets it done. First fight on the main card, Vito Petrino versus Anton Turkalsh. Um oh, fucking hell. I went with Anton Turkalsh by decision, and he loses by decision. Vito looked very good. Um, he's clearly on the sauce. Clearly. Oh, uh, He's clearly on that Brazilian sauce because you can't push a pace like that and remain having that strength and cardio. It's just not possible without some sort of substance. So, uh, But, I mean, he still looked very good, man. His power's crazy. Very good at reversing positions. He's just not very technical at all. But at the same time, man, he, he looked good. He looked very strong. And Anton couldn't really do much to him. Anton did hurt him, though, actually, and almost knocked him out with an up kick. But Vito, man, he just was very patient with his shots, landed very good shots, and just basically just reversed any position that Anton was able to get. Even when Anton had a body triangle, Vito was able to turn it. So, good job by Vito, man. Um, I did think Anton was going to win that, but Anton is showing once again he's fucking trash. And uh, that win from Jilton Almeida hasn't uh, aged the best of it. So, yeah. Um Next one on the card, uh, Mario Batista versus Guido Canetti. Um, I went, of course, I went with Mario Batista. He got it done by first round submission. 
pretty self-explanatory, man. I mean, he just fucking dominated, got the position, got the choke, put him, you know, won the fight. Uh, Mario Batista needs to get a top 15 now. He needs a top 15, or at least a guy that's going to put him in a top 15 position. He, he's shown now he can beat all the bottom feeders. He beats all the people that are above the bottom feeders. He beats the bottom of the barrel. Uh, now, he just needs to actually uh, really test himself properly uh, since, you know, turning in, you know, in, since having these improvements. So I'd say maybe give him uh, a Jack Shaw. Maybe give him um, someone that's just outside the top 15 or somebody that is in the top 15. That's what I would say. But yeah, good job by Mario Batista though, man. He looked very good. Very, very good. Um, obviously, he landed the Batista bomb on Guido Canetti and then uh, latched it up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Batista bomb. But yeah, uh, <laughs> next fight on the card. Saeed Nomagomedov versus Jonathan Martinez. Um, I went with Syed Nomagomedov and uh, he got fucking robbed. Um, he clearly won all three rounds. Um, what can you do? I mean, I don't get mad at the judges anymore, man. It's, it, it's a reoccurring theme constantly. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm not that mad at it because I don't give a fuck about Russian fighters, to be honest with you. But at the same time, it is a robbery and I will stick up for the fight who got robbed, regardless of who they are. Um, so yeah, um, it should have been Saeed's win, but it is what it is. Um, Jonathan Martinez, not, not the, it was a very close fight, but Saeed clearly edged the rounds. Like he was the, he was, he was the one landing the more damaging shots in the pocket and he was the one pushing, forcing the grappling exchanges, but it is what it is, man. I mean, both men looked okay. So yeah, but uh, it's not, not the best look, but yeah, anyway. Um, next fight on the card, Nikita Krylov versus Ryan Spann. I went with Nikita Krylov by TKO, I think I said, in the third round or the fourth round. Um, but he gets it done by first round submission. Um, got the triangle on Spann and Spann tapped. Uh, Nikita Krylov looked very fucking good, man. Looked very fucking good. Um. Good chin on him too, man. I mean, the shots he was taking from Span and Span suddenly grew a chin as well because he was taking pretty good shots as well. Um, yeah, Krylov looked very fucking good, man. Like he looked very, very fucking fast. Looked very hungry for it, and eventually, as they were rolling about, and you know, what I mean, obviously they both got on the ground. They both got good jujitsu, good wrestling, and and Krylov was able to um, find his way to uh, get in that submission off the bottom. Um, Krylov looked fucking good. I, I mean, what I'd say now is is that Krylov should probably fight maybe like uh, the winner of Smith. Uh, I say maybe fight the winner of Smith and um, Johnny Walker. Oh, and, and Johnny Walker. Maybe ah, yet again though, he's already fought Johnny Walker. He beat Johnny Walker. Um, if Smith wins, he should fight Smith. So that's, that's what I would say. So, yeah. But, yeah, good job by Krylov, man. He looked very good. Very fucking good. Next fight on the card, the core main event. Alexander Volkov versus Alexander Romanov. I did go with Romanov, but he got TKO'd in the first round. And I picked him by submission in the first round. Um, or TKO, one of the two. Um, he looked off, man. He looked... Not to take any way, anything away from uh, Volkov, Volkov, obviously, but... Romanov just looked terrible and uh, got TKO'd. I, I didn't see the fight fully because, like, I, I was I was busy doing something. But based off what I seen, Volkov was just on top of him, uh, you know, like in the you know Adam saddle and was just thing. I don't know if he landed a big shot that dropped him. It's probably what happened. But um, Romanov just looked terrible from where I could see, and uh, yeah, unfortunate for him because I mean I think he's a good fighter but I mean I, I did say his gas tank would be a problem if he got past the first round but he got TKO'd in the first round so it's crazy to me but yeah good job by Alexander Volkov man he's shown man it, it, you have to be a certain type of talent or just Derek Lewis to beat them so yeah man good job by him next fight on the card the main event <laughs> Piotr Jan versus Marab Divish Divish Kant 
Um, I went with Pure Dayan and uh, the Goblin got it done by uh, 50 45. Um, I mean, Marab is the biggest failure of the Bantamweight division. Um, just an absolute fucking failure. Um, 22%. He went 11 of 49. 11 of 49 on takedowns. And the takedowns that he got, by the way, Jan was popping straight back up. <laughs> um, I'm not going to, you know what I mean, I'm going to make a separate video on it, so I ain't going to go too much into detail. But yeah, Marab got it done. He looked very good. Um, Still a cuck. You know, refuses to fight Aljamain because he's a fucking pussy and, refu and just refuses to have his own career and just is a fucking cretin. And a disgrace and should be cut from the UFC. But you know, I leave that for the video. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Um, if you're new, please like, subscribe. As you can tell, I'm keeping real MMA. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.